This video is not for Squarespace users who are currently using a basic subscription plan. We're about to be working with some JavaScript code, which means you need to be on a plan that's more advanced than basic, at least at the time of recording this video. If that's you, you're in the right place. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'll teach you how to create and customize a countdown timer for your Squarespace website. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are linked in the description below, but without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen and we'll create a countdown timer together. Together. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the five steps you're going to take together to add this countdown timer to our website. I'm going to select edit on the top left hand side of the page, and we'll go ahead and add a block of content. We're going to add a code block. Now I'm going to pull this over to the other side of the screen. We'll make it nice and big, and I'm going to double click on this content block. Then I'm gonna click this option right here so we can pull up the code and center it on the page. Let's remove the filler code that's there and I'm going to paste the code that you'll find underneath the video. Now scrolling all the way up to the top, there are a few things here you're going to want to change. The first is right here on line 20 where it says time's up. That's the text that's going to display when your countdown timer is over, when you've counted down to the specific date and time. Customize this message to be anything you want it to be. Then after that, you're going to want to change the date. This is set to December 31st, 2025 at 11.59 and 59 seconds Pacific Standard Time. You can adjust the time zone by using the abbreviation here. This represents the time written in 24-hour time, so 23 would be 11 p.m. Then we've got hours followed by minutes, then seconds. And then just before that, we have the actual date itself month, day, and year. Update this information to reflect the date, time, and time zone that you want to count down to. Now scrolling all the way down to the bottom, I've added some custom CSS to create a unique style for this countdown timer. Everything from line 52 on is the custom style for the timer. At the very top of this, you're going to see that we have a background color for the countdown timer itself. And then I've also adjusted it so that the font family will match whatever you've assigned for the paragraph font in your Squarespace website. You can change this font family to anything you want it to be. Scrolling down here, you'll see I've also adjusted the font size and weight and the color. Customize this so that it matches the unique style of your own Squarespace website. I strongly recommend reviewing the colors to make sure that those match your unique color palette. At the very bottom here, you'll also see the Time's Up message has its unique font size, font weight, and it's a bright red color. Customize these values to suit your own unique style. Let's go ahead and select Close and Save so we can take a look at our countdown timer. We'll click Exit. The timer will load, and here we go. We have a timer counting down to December 31st, 2025, one second before midnight. Now, hopping into edit mode, I'd love to show you what the Time's Up message looks like. Let's double click on this content block. We'll go ahead and make it the full screen size. There we go. And if we scroll down here, how about we change this to a date that's already passed? January 31st. We'll select close, save, and exit. The timer will reload, and you can see it now says Time's Up in bright red uppercase letters, still matching the font family for the paragraph font on my Squarespace website. All right, my friend, you will find that entire code underneath this video, or at least a link to the code if you're watching this on YouTube, because I can't include these carrots in a video description. So check the links underneath this video, but if you're already on my blog, you'll find the entire code there ready to copy and paste to add your own Squarespace website. Make sure that you customize those specific property values for things like the font and color to make it uniquely yours. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that you can do with Squarespace. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless, expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.